Hey everybody, so welcome to my room tour. I'm going to show you all about a four by two room at Flamingo Crossings West. So if these are the first um, people to live in these two buildings that they've just built and they're still building like the rest of West. So we're the first people to live in this apartment and it's really exciting because it's all new and clean and wonderful. So I'm going to show you my room and then the bathroom that I share um, and show you kind of the organization and how I've kind of configured everything to make it work for me. So in a four by two, you share a bathroom and then you have two rooms. So you come in this door and then my room is C and my roomies is D over there. So we're gonna see my room first. Woohoo! Here's kind of an overview. When you come in the door, on this wall over here, I've got my dresser that Disney provided. Um, so it was on this wall, I moved it to that wall, it just fit a little bit better, and I did not bring a TV, so I just have some of my picture frames and little thingies up there. I've got a lamp, um, and then my, my room spray is back here because you're not allowed candles. So I got some room spray, some people bring um, like melts, like wax melts, or a diffuser, and those are fine. Um, then I've got a little basket. This basket is um, from one of my roomies. She gave me a roomie gift, so I put some of my stuffed animals in it. Then I hung up this little hook. Um, I keep my Apple Watch inside of it. See, it's like a little a thing inside of it, so I'm gonna put my name tag there when I get it. Um, I put my Apple Watch there. This is my room key. I've got a rain poncho, and then this I hung up here because it's a custom drawing made um, from when I was a kid, from 2011, and I've never hung it up anywhere because I've never had like a place to put it, but where better to put some Minnie Mouse than your Disney apartment? So I have that there. Next on this wall, I haven't totally finished it yet. I still got some things to hang up on the bed there, um, but I've got this little hook that holds some mini ears and a little backpack. Um, I've got an Alice painting, a little quote from Cinderella, and then a quote from Peter Pan, and then I've got my cork board. So I'll put like my schedule on there and everything whenever I get it. So that's on this far wall that's like next to my bed. And that's how I have it configured right now. I've got these little things to hang up too. This is from one of my roomies, it's so cute. This is from my best friend, she painted it for me. And this is from my sister, who painted that for me too. Next, I'll show you my bed. So um, in a four by two and a four by four, um, you get full XL beds, which is basically just a few inches smaller than a queen. So it's actually a really, really big bed. Um, so I actually have queen sheets and a queen comforter and everything on this bed. And it really actually fits great. So um, if you can't find full XL sheets or a comforter, which they're really difficult to find, it's kind of a specialized bed size, um, then I recommend a queen because it fits really nicely. This blanket I've had since I was a kid. And then this pillowcase I thrifted. This pillow I've had since I was little. And I brought my giant Pluto. <laughs> I've got my pillow and the two sham pillows and it all fits great on this full XL bed. Next, I brought this clothing rack. So I painted this clothing rack pink. Um, I'm going to put my costumes there whenever I get them because you can get five at a time and I wanna put them in a separate place um, than like my clothes um, just for personal use. So right now I have some jackets hanging on it and a purse, but eventually I'll have my costumes there with my costume shoes down there um, so that I can have them all in one place. I've also got this basket to hold my ears and hats and some headbands. Over here's the closet. It's one big mirror. It's just a huge mirror. Um, and then it slides open, I'll slide it open. And it's a huge closet, y'all. It's, it's a really, really, really big closet. Um, so I've got things in the bottom of the closet, like my shoes, my laundry. I've got a basket of swimsuits, backpack, random things. Then I have things folded up at the top. Um, so I've got a lot of sweatshirts and things like that because I'm a cold person. I've got an extra blanket, some other things like that. That's all stuff that I brought. And then I, I got some pink hangers um, to keep it all matchy and organizing. 
and then all of my clothes. So this actually is all just empty space that I couldn't fill <laughs> with all of my clothes. Um, so yeah, the closet is like really, really big. Um, so no worries if you have lots of clothes like me. I was really nervous about fitting all my clothes in there, but it all totally fits with room to spare. And then you can slide that open this side too. Um, see all my shoes are just down there. I'm thinking about buying a shoe rack. Um, I recommend it, but yeah, all my clothes, my beach bag, tons of storage. I'll show you my bedside table. So this table was provided by the apartment. You can see it matches everything. Um, it's actually adjustable. So you can um, pull the lever on the side and it goes up and down. It also rolls. So let me see if I can roll it for you. I've got some stuff on it right now, but it does roll. It also pushes underneath the bed um, to use as a desk, like over your bed, like an over bed desk. So I do not bring a desk. Um, I'm not doing classes or anything, but if I needed one, this also is a desk. So I've got my camera, I've got this little plant from my roomie. It's a fake plant, but it's so cute. Um, some coasters, my makeup mirror, <laughs> and then um, this little ray itty bitty is from one of my roomies. It's so cute. And I brought my little zoomy zoomies. And some sunglasses. And then down here, because it's got two shelves, it's got a top and a bottom shelf. Down here, I've just got my books and my journals. I've got a basket full of, I've got my makeup in there, my jewelry, some charging cords, my Bible and my savings jar. And then this is my DCP journal. And then I put a trash can in my room as well. Underneath the bed, there are two lock boxes. So you can put your own personal locks on these boxes. You do have to bring locks. So I got these two at Walmart. Um, and then I have my electronics in one of them. I haven't put anything in the other one, but there are two pretty good size lock boxes. And I'm gonna show you the um, like the depth of these drawers, because really um, they're not that big, but it is pretty good storage. Like I have my t-shirts in this one and it's kind of like stuffed full and there's not too many in there, but I've kind of folded them like this um, to fit more kind of like books, I guess. Um, but see, they're not, they're not super deep but they do fit a good amount of things. So like I have in here, I've got t-shirts and then shorts and leggings and then like pants and underwear and socks and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I put in there and I put all my sweatshirts up in the top of the closet because they just would not fit. And here's our giant bathroom. It's the right size. Um, there are two sinks, so mine's over here. And what I have on my sink is, um, there's no place to like hang a hand towel or anything. So I just have mine folded. This is my little um, face scrubber thingy. I got the Disney Princess ones. And then I've got this little tray for my face scrubby brush to kind of dry in. Um, makeup wipes, scrunchies, and then you each get a medicine cabinet. So here's one, and there's one. So inside the medicine cabinet, I've just got a bunch of medicine type things. And I bought these little um, organizers from Dollar Tree. All of my organization stuff is from Dollar Tree. So I got these because they fit perfectly. So that helps, otherwise things just fall out of the medicine cabinet. <laughs> but it's a nice little um, mirror. I used it earlier, it's pretty good. And then plug right here um, is like this really long cabinet. I use it to put my like overnight bag stuff and my hair dryer, my curling iron, and then you each get an under the sink cabinet. So I've got my extra towels and my beach towels and then all of my products over here. So I bought those little shelves, those organizer shelves at Dollar Tree, the basket on top from Dollar Tree and the two baskets underneath. And then I got that little flower basket from Dollar Tree also. So those are pretty good um, for organizing underneath your sink. Cause there's lots of space under there, but you can't stack anything. Like there aren't any shelves. So I bought those little shelves from Dollar Tree and then you each get one of those. So she also has the same thing over here. She's got her side and then under the sink and the long cabinet and the medicine cabinet. So you each get the same thing. Um, two sinks, have your own space. We got matching bathroom rugs. So amazing picture of our boss hanging in the bathroom. Then after you walk over here, um, it's its own separate rooms, the bathroom and the shower. It's huge in here. So there's more storage up here. There's like tons of it. There's three shelves, 
we haven't even used all of it it's great two towel racks um, I put this little basket above our toilet for some wipes and things um, so that's good and then we've got the toilet toilet paper and shower so I bought the shower organizer from Target um, we just both have our stuff in it but there are also shelves like in the bathroom so if you don't want a shower organizer you can just put your things on the shelves um, it's really great it's a huge huge shower let's see if I can back up and show how big it is because it's like it's really big um, and then we bought a gray bath mat to match the other ones and it's really nice so that's pretty much the room tour um, I really love my room I'm really happy with how it turned out it's really comfortable um, if you don't like a firm mattress, I highly recommend getting a mattress pad, but I like it. It's really comfortable. Actually, I've had a good time so far. Um, and then also highly recommend getting, um, so I'll show you real quick. The walls are like textured. So if you want to hang things up, which you will because these walls are huge and they need some things on them. Highly recommend getting like some mounting putty. Um, that'll kind of stick to this better. There's like a removable mounting putty that I got at Target. Um, I also got this mounting tape that comes off pretty easily and it's also from Target. Um, and that's what I've hung all my stuff up with because command hooks wouldn't stay up. Um, but if there are stronger command hooks, like the really, really strong, tough ones, those might stick. Um, but like the little ones I tried and they wouldn't stick up. So I got those things to hang things on my wall with um, and they've worked really well so far. So that's what I've used on these textured walls. Another thing to mention is the fan does have three speeds. Um, so I have my fan on the highest because it's really, really hot right now. Um, and I just like to sleep with it being cold, but if you want more, um, then bring your own fan because even on the highest speed, it's really not super, super cold in here. So recommend that. There also super aren't a lot of plugs. So um, bring like power strips, um, extension cords, things like that. So I just have a super, super long foam cord so it reaches, but I'll show you where my plug is in relation to my bed. So like I sleep here and my plug is all the way on this side over here. So you would definitely need like an extension cord. Um, mine reaches, but you would definitely need one. And that's pretty much it. It's really a great place. Um, everything is wonderful. And if you want to see the rest of the apartment, let me know and I can see if um, the roomies will let me show everything else, but I don't want to get into their rooms and everything. But each of the rooms kind of has a different configuration of things, um, depending on how you want to decorate it. But you are assigned a room, you don't get to pick a room. So I was assigned room C, um, so that's the one that I got. You don't get to pick like which room you are in the apartment. So each room is a little bit different, um, but I really like mine and I think it's great. I'm about to head to the Welcome Week event, which will be the next vlog of. It's all about Welcome Week and check-in and everything like that. So stay tuned, but thanks for watching my room tour.